Hi guys, it's Sarah with Kate Mac Stock and this is a quick tutorial on how to make a mock-up using Canva. Canva is a great free website that you can use for design work that can be an alternative to Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is have your background image. I chose this simple frame photo from Kate Mac Stock. And how you add it to your screen is to scroll down on the toolbar on the left hand side to uploads and click the big green button that says upload your image. Once you have your background image set, the next thing you want to do is again go to that upload button and select the photo that you want inside your frame. I chose this donut picture again from Kate Max Stock because who wouldn't want a framed picture of a donut on their wall? So now you're going to click that big green button and upload your image and then you'll click on it and it'll show up on top of your background photo. And you can click and drag the corners to the size that you want it to be. And as you can see the donut picture is a little bit longer than I want it to be. But that's an easy fix. You simply double click on the photo and it allows you to crop it the way that you want it to look. And then you go up to click the check mark button once you're happy with it. And now the photo is cropped. Now you can just play around with this until you have it placed where you want it to be. I prefer to have a little room around the edges so that there's a small shadow um, so it looks more like it's actually in the frame instead of just placed on top of it. And you can either click and drag or you can use the arrow keys on your computer. Now that we have the mock-up the way that we want it to look, we're going to go to the toolbar at the top and there are several options. Um, if you go to File, it allows you to save it to the Canva website for you to go back and edit later. You can resize it. There's also a share button that gives you access to certain social media platforms. You can email it to someone. But what we're going to select is the download button. This gives you several options of what types of file you want to save it as. I normally save it as a photo file, but you can also save it as a PDF, and that will save it straight to your computer. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and have a great day.